So I just picked up these two old office PCs from Facebook Marketplace. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at them, see if they power on. And if they do, give them a little upgrade with whatever spare parts I got lying around in the office here. So here's the Marketplace ad that caught my eye. Company was clearing out a whole batch of their office computers. So I responded and headed over there. And most of the systems there were running either 4th gen or 6th gen Intel processors. I was really close to grabbing about four or five of these, but you know, I really don't need that many. So I decided to control myself and just walk away with just two. They were listed at $40 each, but I managed to get them for $30 each. Uh, the hard drives have been pulled, but they still have their RAM installed. So here's what I picked up. First, an HP ProDesk 400 G4 small form factor PC. I chose this one because out of the entire lot, this one had actually the best processor, which was an i5-7500. And the second one I got here is a good old Dell Optiplex 5040, which I believe has a i5-6500 inside. So the first PC I'm going to take a look at is the HP ProDesk. You can see that on the front here, it's got two USB ports and a headphone jack. And on the back, it's got actually six more USB ports and a display port. So let's open this up and see what kind of shape it's in. All right, so it looks a little dusty, but not too bad. I've definitely seen worse. Uh, no hard drive, like I said. I can't see the RAM until I pull the hard drive cage out, and I'll do that in a moment. Um, as far as the power supply, this only has 180 watts, uh, so that's pretty low, but I got some low profile GPUs on hand that I can still use on this despite the low power. Now taking a look at the RAM, it's got 8 gigs, but it's only single channel. I was hoping it would be dual channel, but you know, remember I only paid 30 bucks for this. Uh, I do have some extra RAM lying around, so I'm going to see if I have an extra 8 gig stick of RAM and uh, shove it in here to give myself 16 gigs of RAM. And I did have an extra stick, so I threw it in there. Now, before I do anything else, like, you know, add a hard drive or a GPU, I'm going to power this on just to see if it actually works. I'm sure it does, uh, but I just want to make sure before giving it any more upgrades. All right, so let's check system information here and click there. And all right, everything looks good. So this PC, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an SSD. I'm going to install Windows 11 on it. And then I'm going to throw in a low profile GPU. And we're going to see if we can get some gaming done on this. Not sure if you guys can see there, but I installed an SSD. And for the GPU, I decided to go for a Radeon WX4100. It's got 4 gigs of GDDR5. And I think it should let me play some games. If I can play Fortnite at 60 FPS smoothly, I'll be really happy. Uh, I already had this GPU lying around, but if you were to buy it, it goes for about 50 to 60 bucks on eBay. Now, remember the i5-7500 doesn't officially support Windows 11, but I'm still going to install it on this machine. I flashed Windows 11 to a USB flash drive with Rufus, and I'm going to be using it to install uh, Windows 11 on this PC. All right, the Windows 11 installation went smoothly. So like I said, I paid $30 for the PC and with the extra parts, you know, I already had these parts on hand in my office, but if you had to purchase them, um, you know, you can get a 256 gig SSD for about 30 bucks. Although I did put a 500 gig SSD in here because that's what I had. Um, I think SSD prices have gone up lately in general, um, but the WX4100, about 50 bucks on eBay and an extra 10 bucks for the RAM. So, you know, all in, I, you know, this build would be about, you know, a $120 build. So that's not too bad at all. And I went ahead and got the latest drivers for the WX4100. Make sure you always do that when you install a new GPU in your PC. Um, then I downloaded Chrome, did some web browsing, and as you can see, had no issues, very smooth experience with web browsing. Uh, then I watched some YouTube videos and it worked absolutely perfectly. So for everyday computing tasks, you're going to have no issue with this PC right now. Uh, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try some gaming. 
But first, here's the Heaven benchmark test. And as you can see, I got a score of 1022 with an FPS of 40.6, which is, you know, respectable. First game I tried out here is Minecraft. I didn't do anything with the settings. All I did was put it in full screen mode. I didn't change anything else. And I just turned on the game to see how it would perform. And the next game I tried was Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This is 1080p on low settings. And we scored an FPS of 38 average here, so not too bad. Um, I was just hoping to get 30 FPS here and hit 38. That's a win for me. And here we have Forza Horizon 5. This is on the low preset, 1080p. All right, and here we achieved an average FPS of 48, which again, not too bad at all considering, you know, what I paid for this PC. And the final game I tried here is Fortnite. I'm using performance settings here and maxing the FPS out at 120, although I don't think I'll even get close to 120, but hey, you never know, let's see. So got some stuttering here and there, and for some reason the audio was going in and out sometimes, not sure why. Um, so what I did was I dropped the FPS limit to 60 FPS in the hopes of getting a smoother experience. So let's see if that helps.
All right, so in my opinion, it's better to cap this at 60 FPS and call it a day. Uh, the WX4100 is a decent card for a budget build. Uh, I think it worked well on this $30 PC. I do have some better cards lying around. So if you want me to test this with, say, the RTX 3050, uh, let me know. I do have the single slot version lying around. But moving on to the Optiplex, I think I'm going to save this for a different video. Since I installed Windows 11 on the HP, I was thinking of going the Linux route. Uh, I've heard Zorin OS is pretty good. Or maybe try, you know, Google Flex on this. Uh, as you can see, I powered it on so it does work. Let me know what you think I should install on it. But that's going to do it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.